welcome back to my channel, a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Today I'm with my friends, Milkshake and Obby. Um, if you don't know why my hair is like this, I was just at Bali. Obby was actually from Barbie, a shop called Candy Delicious. Um, please go check it out them. It's a great shop, fantastic. If you go to Bali, check out Candy Delicious. Um, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use a ukulele. Because I think this is a ukulele. Or is this a mini guitar? I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's start with the basics. You need to know what every string is called, what it sound it will play, and what these mean. Slash these. So, on the ukulele, there are <laughs> four strings. This is the first one. Second one, third one, fourth one. Now, you use these. I call them spanel chords, but you can call them anything you like. So, the spanel chords, when you turn them, they make a different tune for each chord. So, let's say I was going to play chord number one. Wait, no, wrong chord. Sorry. Chord number one. Then I'm going to spin this while playing it. See how that was a bit lower? Because I spin it low. But if I spin it upwise, that was big. So these change the tune. But the just right one is right in the middle. Maybe a bit like that, that one, a bit like that. And that's it. Each one represents the four chords. Chord number one, spinal chord number one. Chord number two, spinal chord number two. Chord number three, spinal chord number three. And chord number four, spinal chord number four. You have to use these strings while playing these if you want higher tunes. For example, number four. This is what it originally sounds like. Wait, wrong. Then let's change it up a bit. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. Or, you can kind of see the difference. Now you have learned about your spinal, spinal chords. We need to learn about. That is not music. And no offense if you do this. Sounds kind of good. No. So you cannot play down here with the circles. The string just needs somewhere lower to attach. You have to play here. I call this your neck. So it's like a body. There's the head with all the spinal cords. Then there's the neck. Those could be like parts of the throat, maybe the cords. And then here is your body, and there's some cords. The strings that go down here. That hole is representing your heart. I know your heart goes here, but today it's right here. Maybe your food area, I don't know. But your heart, you need to keep protected. Because, I don't know. So, you do not play here. Or it will lure milkshake to eat the heart. Or it will lure Obby to fit right inside. You need to be very careful. Sometimes, it can even break if you do this. So, we need to be very gentle with our chords and our spinal chords. We have to play up here. So. Like I showed you before, chord one, wait no, that was chord four. Chord one, chord two, chord three, chord four. Yeah, chord four is a bit weird. Oh, never mind. You need to know how to play it, because you don't just do this. No, you don't do bendy form. We do this. So grab your hand. And I'm 
I'm going to represent chord number four. So you're going to grab your finger and you're going to put it on it, under to pull. You're going to put this hand round the, the, the ukulele, ukulele. And you can just follow along this video, even if you don't have a ukulele, it's all okay. Then you just do this and do that. So look, so you put finger across, hold, and put it off. So your finger's there, um, can't really point. And then you put your finger on this one back here and you pull. Now you have to use your spinal cords to change the tune while you're doing this. So you actually do a different sound. So you do it like this. You put this hand, finger, this finger underneath, this thumb on top. Then, of course, this hand holding this ready to And you go. Yeah. So boom, boom. These fingers here and then you go. Wait, eh, gotta do it on the neck. Okay, I think I said that a bit wrong. Just maybe do this. Grab, hold, three, then do this, fingers like this. Grab it on that one chord. It should be now four fingers on that chord and then the thumb here. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying today. Um, I guess I'm a bit out of it. Cuckoo crazy. But anyways, let's move on to making or playing a song with your ukulele. So, you need a songbook. Yes, a songbook. Hmm, where can I find a songbook? I can make one. So, um, go ahead and check out my how to make a songbook video. Um, because I'm about to make it. Stop this video, make that video, and that's it for part one. Bye, guys.